Hey, what's up guys, it's Rich. Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. And today I'm here to talk to you about a leak that happened a few weeks ago on the Apex Legends subreddit. The leak was for a new legend called Octane, the high speed daredevil. And this was the image. It looked pretty real when I saw it. It had a, a watermark of the Instagram that account that it came from. It's at childs with a Z underscore play, play with a, a four where the A should be. And if you can't read it on the video, I will read out his uh, his abilities here. So his passive is called Swift Mend, and it's while not taking damage, Octane restores health over time. You've got the Tactical, which is called Adrenaline Junkie. Move 30% faster for 6 seconds, costs 10% of health, immune to slows whilst active. And his ultimate is called Launch Pad, and it's deployable jump pad that catapults users through the air. Now when I saw this, I thought it was fairly real. I was tempted to tweet it out, I was very tentative to make a video about this just in case it wasn't real. And then I saw this image in reply to this. And when I first saw this, I was thinking, oh my gosh, they're, they're getting all the legends leaked. And I was reading the abilities, passive agility, climb and slide 35% faster, the ability, or sorry, the, the champion's called Karma, by the way, if you can't see. The tactical there is called Vertical Leap, jump two and a half times higher once. And then the ultimate called Instant Karma. I've heard of a fake screenshot of a new legend to Reddit for upvotes and, and Karma. So that is why I was a little bit nervous to make a video about this. Despite being very excited for the initial leak, I was brought back down to earth by this image as well. Because when I first glanced at this one, it could have been real. I mean, I assume that character in the background is from a different game. Because there's no way someone sat there and drawn this just for a, a fake image for a, for a laugh. But I would have fallen for it. But the reason I'm talking to you about this today is because I've received a comment. I think two comments about this. And also I've seen a tweet about this as well. And when I went on the subreddit, someone had actually posted a picture of this as well. Uh, if you go back to Octane, his ultimate launch pad, which is a deployable jump pad that catapults users through the air. They've been spawning in at different parts around the map, namely Marketplace. So I jumped on to see if I could get lucky enough to try this ultimate out before the update comes out and Octane is released. Because I'm fairly certain, unless this is some sort of hoax and it's some sort of joke from the Apex Legend devs, which definitely could be the case, it's not 100% confirmed that this is definitely going to be released or, you know, Octane is going to be released. But I feel like this is a little bit of a hint. I don't even feel like this is a, a mistake. And the reason for that is because on the subreddit where this was posted, there was actually a reply by one of the devs called Loki DB Josh, who's a respawn dev, confirmed on Reddit. And he just put a winky face. So either the winky face means you're all falling for a joke and, you know, everyone here is a fool. Or it means uh, we're testing this out, we're seeing how people like it. Or it's just a hint, you know, it's, it's almost like a confirmation, like this is going to be coming out soon. It's a teaser for the new Octane Champion. And that teaser is why I'm here today talking to you about the launch pad. So I jumped into a game, I tried to find them for myself, I landed at Marketplace, even though it was a high tier loot zone, I knew it was going to be high impact, I knew it was going to be a load of people there, but I was on the hunt for these jump pads. And what do you know, I found the first game on. I'm not entirely sure if they're a 100% spawn like they're there all the time, or if I might, may have just got a little bit lucky with these. But as you can see on the screen now, they do exactly what they say on the team. They fling you forwards a fair amount. As, as an ultimate though, uh, my first reaction is that they're fairly underwhelming. But at the same time, I still think I would prefer this ultimate to Bangalore's ultimate, which I very rarely do any damage with whatsoever. And I personally love characters with mobility on any game that I play. So this kind of ultimate... And the rest of his abilities especially uh, are right up my alley. And I'm extremely excited to play Octane when he comes out. Something that's worth noting here is that they fling you in the direction that you're moving and not the way that you're facing. So let's say that you're in a gunfight with someone and you're backing up because you're losing the gunfight. But at the same time, you're still shooting them. If you accidentally step on one of these flingers, we'll call them. No, it's called a jump pad. Never mind. I'll, I'll take that back. We'll call them a jump pad. Uh, it, it won't send you straight into your enemy's face, which is nice. You know, it, it sends you... Uh, in correlation to which direction you're moving. So it's consistent in that way. Now that I've used them, I wonder if they're going to be on like charges, much like Bangalore's smoke grenades or, or caustic's traps, uh, where you can save up to two or three of them for a quick getaway, or maybe you're trying to get high ground on someone, uh, or if it's just going to be a maximum of one. I really hope they're stackable and that you can save multiple as just one of them may be a little bit underwhelming, to be honest with you. Maybe it's just a, a, not supposed to be a good ultimate because his other abilities are fairly good as well. But if you want to try these out for yourself, you know where to land. You've got a load of Apex Legends. There was actually a fair few dotted around this marketplace. It, it, it makes it seem like it was a mistake whatsoever. Now, the interesting thing about this leak is that if it's confirmed and Octane does come out, it adds so much 
substance to the other leaks in the fact that the, there's so much of a good chance that the other leaks may come true as well. Uh, the biggest one I've seen personally is a list of Legends names so long that it seems like they would take us to the end of the year if they were released, you know, once every month or once every two months. There are 10 leaked Legends on this list on screen, which also includes Octane. The names of the leaked Legends are Crypto, Husaria, Jericho, Nomad, Octane, Prophet, Rampart, Rosie, Skunner, and Watson. The fact that it includes Octane, whose abilities were leaked a while ago and were hinted at today, it's huge because it adds a lot of authenticity to the leaks if one of them comes true. Uh, but again, you've got to be a little bit cautious with this. It isn't 100% confirmed that Octane is going to come out. I would say it's probably at 95%. It's a massive hint that he will come out. But again, I'd say there's about a 5% chance that they are just trying to troll the community here. They've also datamined one of Watson's abilities called Tesla Trap. Uh, this name, along with the name Watson for the legend, massively hints towards this character being an electric-based legend to be released in the future. So just to talk about Octane more, he seems like a very high mobility hero, just like Bangalore. If you didn't know, I'm a Bangalore main on Apex Legends. I love her passive. It gets you out of so many sticky situations. And Octane's ability, Adrenaline Junkie, makes you move a 30% increased speed for six seconds. The 10% hit to your health doesn't seem too bad because well, first of all, your passive could regain that health over time anyway. And secondly, if it's getting you out of a bad situation, then it's probably saved you more, far more than 10% of your health anyway. I very much doubt it would affect your shields. It could just be actual health, judging by the uh, the wording of the of the ability here. And even though Octane hasn't even been released yet, or even confirmed by uh, Respawn Entertainment, I know exactly the mistakes they're going to be making with this hero. So just imagine this, okay? I'm in a game. I hear a scrap in Scrap Cave. I'll be nearby. I'll pop my Adrenaline Junkie ability, I'll get there extremely fast, almost too fast, because my teammates won't be able to catch up to me, because I'll be far faster than them. I'll turn up with 90% health, because that ability takes off 10% of your health, and then I'll be stuck there, in a 1v6 situation, with no abilities left to use. I'll be left trying to hop out of the situation with my ultimate, I'll be, I'll be placing down the jump pads trying to get out of there. Uh, annoyingly, I assume the enemies could also just use these jump pads as well and just chase you down. Even before the legend's out, I know that I'll, I'll be playing it wrong. I'm just too aggressive in that way, and that is why a Bangalore suits me so well. Because you can't really use her smoke aggressively, so I'm forced to save the smoke canisters, and then the, the, you know, the smoke canisters end up saving me. So even though Octane's a high mobility champion and Bangalore is a high mobility champion, uh, I don't think I'll be switching over to Octane, obviously. Of course, I'll be buying him straight away, I'll be testing him out in the game and I'll be uploading the video as soon as he's released. But in terms of switching my main over to him, I very much doubt it at this, at this point. But who knows, it could happen. Maybe I could get some discipline and only use my abilities when I need them. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But one more interesting point here is that with these 10 legends that have been leaked, or at least the names have been leaked, uh, the question becomes, what are their ultimates going to be? And the reason I ask this is because Ultimates, of course, have, an, uh, have a major effect on the gameplay, but we already have two ultimates in the game at the moment that are fairly similar in terms of what they do. Like Bangalore's ultimate is an airstrike, and Gibraltar's ultimate is also an airstrike. It's slightly different, granted, but they're essentially the same thing. I personally would like to see some of these Legends ultimates to be a weapon of some sort. Let's say you call your ultimate team and you get a, an outrageous sniper or a grenade launcher of sorts or an RPG. Even though that sounds horrendous to die to, it would be kind of fun to use those weapons. What about a minigun? I want a minigun. I, 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 want, I want this massive guy and his ultimate would be to pull out a minigun like Rambo and he would just walk around everywhere. Maybe this is why I'm not on the dev team. You know, I did apply, but this is potentially because my ideas are just terrible. So what ultimates would you guys like to see added to the game? It could be anything. It could be any of the ones I've just said, although I very much doubt it. It could be bringing a teammate back from the dead without the need of a respawn beacon for a support character. I think that would be pretty cool because the respawn beacons are very loud. They're very announced that someone else is coming back into the game. Maybe it could be to regain shields instantly or maybe it could be to regain your teammate shields instantly as an ultimate. It could be a giant ring of fire that cuts a choke point off from an enemy team. But yeah, leave your ideas down below. I would absolutely love to read some of them. So this part of the game here is, it's the same game by the way, this is the first game that I tried to find the jump pads. Uh, my teammates left for whatever reason, they did not want to get resurrected. It was your boy against the world and there was only four squads left. Me being one of the squads, there's only three other ones. And I heard this giant scrap going on and this is what I was talking about before. I can't help it, I get involved. I have my parallel with the select fire. 
I don't know why the other team wasn't getting involved at this point. It was a little bit strange. I don't know why they just left me in here by myself. It was fine because I ended up killing this team anyway. And uh, I, I try and get away here on absolutely no health whatsoever. And what do you know? They finally come over. When I killed the team that they were fighting, I saved them. I saved their lives. And he shoots me in the back. I had 10 kills there. I was absolutely devastated. It was a fun game though. Especially because... It was the first game that I played. Look at that. 49 damage between the two of them. They didn't even wait to get resurrected. But anyway, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Leave your thoughts about the tops that I discussed in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new to join the Art Empire. And I'll see you on the next one. Mm, bye.